was a cold, rainy night like any other. Only this one was different. I was in my office, just about ready to go to sleep as the rest of the world was starting to wake up. And that's when she walked in. A dame with hair like Thanksgiving. A whitewashed history and, in my opinion, a little overdone. She gave me a look that said, I'm looking at you, but the room is a little dark and my eyes are taking a moment to adjust. Cigarette? No, I'm Lindsay. Ah, my mistake. I have a case for you. As if I didn't already know it. I could tell this was going to be a big one. I guess sleep would have to wait. I'd have to join the rest of the world with the rising sun. I felt like even the chance to work on a case was like someone putting a gun to my head. I felt like I didn't have a choice. Sometimes, I feel like the whole world is being held at gunpoint. This is Gunpoint, a 2D indie puzzle platformer that focuses on stealth and an intuitive hacking mechanic to deliver a detective noir story that can be as serious or as silly as you choose to make it. It found itself right on the cusp of the period of time in which people were binding their Isaacs and spaceships were going faster than the speed of roguelike and sort of flew ever so slightly under the radar, but is well worth it. The game places you in the role of Richard Conway, private investigator, on the night you get called in for a job that suddenly lands you in the center of a murderous plot in which you are both Sherlock and suspect. You have no choice but to go down the rabbit hole in order to catch the killer and clear your own name. You are not ill-equipped to do this, however, as right from the get-go the game suits you up with the bullfrog trousers, allowing you to make tremendous leaps, stick to walls and ceilings, and with enough momentum, even break through glass. Which, as an important point, there is no fall damage in this game. For you. But there is for everyone else. Aside from that, stay sharp. The game has no boss enemies, and everyone dies in a single shot. Including you. Before long, you'll be able to purchase the real bread and butter of the game. The Crosslink tool allows you to rewire any electronics that run on a circuit you've hacked into. You can rewire light switches to swing a door into someone's face, make a motion detector call an elevator to another floor as a distraction, or with a few upgrades you can even rewire enemies' guns for all sorts of mayhem. The Crosslink is an intuitive click and drag system that makes for lots of ways to complete each level. Speaking of which, the game awards you with a rating after each mission, including an assessment of your speed, how many witnesses there were, how much noise you made, and how violent you were. Just another day solving crimes in Hollywood, California. And one for love. Okay. Different clients may want you to complete different missions in different ways, and you might find yourself wanting to replay missions for better scores or achievements, all of which is easily done by replaying past missions from the menu. In fact, when you choose to replay past missions, you do so with all additional equipment and upgrades you've unlocked, allowing you to try even more ways to play. Additionally, you have a lot of choice in the tone of the narrative. Every mission is preceded and usually followed by some dialogue with your client. You can decide if you want to make the story progress in a serious manner. Two, you think we lied to the chief of police? <laughs> this is a scary time to be alive. Face to face with a life sentence. Maybe even the chair if things don't go our way. God only knows I can't afford a lawyer. Or a more satirical one is out. And then I go slightly smaller. As the case uh, the, the deepens, and then the case gets a little bit more intriguing. I'll crack it in no time, Your Honor. Officer, Captain, you can't take me off this case. I'm too close. I don't care if I don't play by the rules. The law is the law, and that's the only rule I need to follow. Holy shit. My god. It can't be! Oh fuck, it's still really bright. Or blend the two throughout your playthrough. 
And I gotta say, it's hard to resist some of the incredible comedic dialogue in this game. Or if overall story just isn't really your thing, and you just want to go from puzzle to puzzle, then you'll be thrilled to hear that every bit of dialogue in the game is completely skippable, just by clicking the start mission the second they open their mouths. Speaking of skipping, if you find yourself stumped and don't want to spend time bashing your head against the same puzzle over and over again, you have a set number of skips you can use to circumvent the tougher puzzles in the game. Or do you think the game's puzzles could be tougher? Well, you can put your money where your mouth is and create your own levels and submit them to the Steam Workshop for others to try, as well as then taking other people's player-made missions and testing your wits against the minds of your fellow Gunpoint fans. And of course, one of the real shining accolades of this game is its wonderful, jazzy soundtrack that you've been hearing throughout this video. And I don't even need to ask, I know you like jazz. Especially when that jazz can sound like this. Why not this? Okay, that last one only features on the original soundtrack and not in the game itself, but I think I've made my point. The game also switches between its jazzy numbers to a more techno sci-fi cover of the same song whenever you go into crosslink mode. The change is subtle, yet synchronized in a way that means that rather than restarting each version of the song every time you swap, they intercut with each other as you change between normal gameplay and the crosslink. That's the general pitch of the game, but as in life, actions may well speak louder than words. So here's some spoiler-free gameplay highlights, and lowlights, to give you an idea of the game that you've been missing out on. Oh, and uh, psst, by the way, all of this footage came from my Twitch streams, so you should maybe go and follow me on Twitch and then watch it there. You can see this stuff live, including new games and other, I'm gonna, okay, bye. It's me, Sherlock Bones. She's dead. God damn it. Never gets any easier living here in Hollywood, California as an affiliate. <laughs> We've got like Noir Detective, Sherlock Holmes, and Miami Vice. All three detectives on the case at once. There's no stopping us. Just another rainy day here in Hollywood, California. <laughs> the Westfield facility has better security. My guy can open the front door for you, but the door to the server room is secure. Two guards working tonight. Whoever's in the server room can probably open the door to it, so get him to do it for you. Isn't that kind of the opposite of a jo other guy's judge Trisha? Are you drunk? No, it's apple juice. It is, but these guys spend more time dealing with electrical faults than professional spies. Shouldn't be that hard to outwit them. Start mission. Guards will shoot on sight. The cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Jump on a guard to put him to the ground. Watch this. 
pinned. Punched. Just another day solving crimes in Hollywood, California. Or should I say, just another day solving crimes in Hollywood, California. And one for love. Okay. Justice has been done. This man was unlawfully doing his job protecting this building from criminals. And I'm no criminal, but I have to break into this building as a vigilante. So, here's what's up. Only gods can use the red hand scanners, and the dark gods will look for a light switch, and they can't see very far in the dark. So if I turn off the light switch, he's like, oh, I better go look for a light switch through this door. And then I'm like, what? Oh, fuck, oh, Jesus, that was close. Did you hear that the gun fucking cocked? That was almost me done. Uh, anyways. Justice. Violent psychopath? It was justice. I did what I had to do. So you'll see this next mission. Crossed wires. To get into the Ellis Street facility, we'll need to rewire the building's electronics, and so we'll have to buy a crosslink. Now, this is where the game gets really good. I like, like, don't get me wrong, the game is great already. Like, if this was the whole game, I'd be thrilled. But the game's about to get even better, if you can believe. I accept this mission. Any building wired in the last 20 years puts everything on a single power grid. The way things are connected is all handled in software, and software can be hacked. If you've got a crosslink, you can see all the connections and drag them around to work however you want. Make a light switch, open a door, whatever. So, no guards, but this is where we get to the fun part of the game. We've got our detective running around and we can break through glass and punch guards, but if we use the scroll wheel or left alt, we can see inside the electronics and we can rewire different parts of the building. So, for this part of the tutorial, very straightforward. Instead of this light switch, turning on this light, It'll open this door. Is this a laptop? It is. This is from the chief of police. Again, to all police. We're getting more and more reports of the electronics in these post-millennial buildings. Oh, he's a fucking boomer. Okay, take note. Write that down. He's a boomer. He has to be destroyed for justice purposes. If those doors open way too fast. That's a hint. That's a hint. Write that down. Someone write that down. And watch this. Boom. Now the door opens, we hack. Job done. We can even turn the lights off on our way out. And to not break the glass, we'll go over the building. <laughs> None the wiser. Can't wait to watch you get smacked in the face by a malevolent door. It happens. So the, that, that little hint is to suggest uh, you can if you time it right, or you get something set up properly, you can have, you can like flick a light switch to open a door and do it on like a guard's face and it will knock them out. But likewise, yes, if you get hit by a door, you're down for the count. So uh, be ready, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's go, a gentleman ghost ninja, that's how I'm known. Main, so the next terminal's on Loxley Close. By the way, be careful with power sockets. They limit a shock if you cross-link them to something. Ooh, good to know. <laughs> I accept. We just walk on over. Yeah! Job done. Lights off. Then, we go into super mode. We rewire this light switch to this power socket. You ready for this shit? Dead. Fucking dead. <laughs> Justice is fucking served, motherfucker. Turn the lights off. I'm not an animal. This is where we're gonna start using our brains. We're gonna jump up. Ooh, turn off the lights on the whole floor! Fuck! Okay, he just turned them back on. But so, this happens. When you turn off the lights, they'll go and find the nearest light switch, and then they'll also just keep patrolling. So I meant to show that off. So, here's what I'm thinking. They're all on the same circuit, they're all red, so we can rewire just about anything. First things first, we cut off access to the lights. Cut off access to the lights. Cut off access to the lights. So we need to get to a terminal on the ground first and second floor, or first, second, and third, if you were not British. Ooh, 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 ooh. Step one, violence. You ready for this? 
You guys ready for some red hot justice? Fucking dead. <laughs> it's, it's so quick. It's so instant, dude. Oh god. Okay, job done. Uh, next up, what can we do here? Here's what we do. Start this guy patrolling by turning off the lights. He'll start walking. That light switch won't work. Can't do it. We'll just open the door. He'll walk outside and we'll close the door behind him. Check this out. Dead. <laughs> Get fucking doored, bro. Okay, we'll keep that door shut. And now, uh, I tell you what we'll do, we'll just keep these lights off. Oh, that goes up! Oh, no, 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 go down, go down, go down. Oh, I went, I went up the stairs the wrong way. You know how it is in real life when you go the sta up the stairs instead of when you meant to go down? Christ. Okay, so we have access now to the elevator and the stairs. No, wait, better idea. You ready for some fucking justice? What? Oh shit, he came running. He came running. He heard the glass break. Just climb back up. I forgot that he'd do that. We'll turn off his lights. Uh, I cannot Assassin's Creed them out the window, but I can just do this. Justice. Oh, oh, I don't even get to punch them out. They just like splat on the floor and like catch my landing. I didn't even realize that. It's quite the oof. Well, if I could, no, I didn't kill anyone. I, I delivered justice. You're, conf you're confusing uh, killing someone with justice, Tomini. I, I see the confusion. They're very similar things. Ow. Not the same though. Hi, thanks so much for replying. Uh, no problem. What's the situation? For this money, even lowercase eyes couldn't keep me away. Haha! <laughs> Sorry, my typing's not great. I borrowed this phone from a sex worker and I haven't figured out how to do capitals on it yet. Also, fair point. I don't know how you neglect to figure out capitals. Like, no matter what the phone is, it, it's... There's only so many buttons, right? What exactly do you need? Get him in trouble? I would want to get him in acid. Yes, we should be forgiving of everyone involved in this. What do we think? What's the approach here? Do we just sort of stay professional and be like, what exactly do you want me to do? Should we be like, this bastard, how dare he put him in acid? Or, yeah, yeah, anyone who was involved in this, we should just clean slate it. What's the best approach here? Whatever leads to the most justice? Well, in my books, there's nothing more just than getting dunked in acid. That's why Batman did it to the Joker. Get him in trouble. I'd want to get him in acid. <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Maybe you can listen in for a clue or something? And then throw him in some acid. Please, n no, no acid. I just want to know what's going on. Got it. To avoid this video being too long or going into spoiler territory, that's where I'll leave it. Effectively just the tutorial missions and just a little bit of dialogue in between them. So there's your basic gameplay loop. Mission selection, dialogue with your client, a breaking and entering puzzle, debriefing with clients, and then purchasing upgrades. Simple, yet incredibly enticing and moorish. Depending on your playstyle and how much of a completionist you are, the game takes somewhere in the ballpark of about 3 hours to beat. But I can tell you I currently have 14 hours on record with this game, and it is the only game I have ever put the effort into getting 100% of the achievements on, because I just loved it so much. And for the record, I'm usually terrible at games and achievement hunting, and can confirm that all 42 achievements in the game are pretty easy to get. The 14 hours just comes from playing it over and over again, and by playing the community-made levels from the Steam Workshop as well. Gunpoint is a fantastic love letter to the detective noir genre, all while being a fantastically unique and inventive puzzle game that gives a wealth of agency to the player in how they want to play the game and how they want to play the story. Coupled with one of the most seamless and entrancing soundtracks I've heard in a while, it's easy to say that Gunpoint is one of the greatest games you've never played. If you're interested in the game itself, it's available on Steam for $9.99 US dollars or £6. 
or you can test it out with the game's demo for free. Additionally, if you fall in love with this game like I did, you can show extra support by purchasing the game's soundtrack, in-game developer commentary, and more as same price DLC. The game's soundtrack is also available on Bandcamp for $5 or more as you choose to pay. The developers of this game are also in the process of making, would you believe it, another game called Tactical Breach Wizards, which seems to be some sort of XCOM-like game blended with the idea of wizards with modern day weaponry. Which looks like a shit ton of fun, I'm not gonna lie. If you've enjoyed the video or it's helped you learn about a new game you might be interested in, then liking, subscribing and all that good stuff lets me and the almighty algorithm know that. Also leave a comment if you've never even heard of this game before now, or leave a comment if you have played this game so I can know where my fellow people of good taste and culture are. Otherwise, until I see you next, stay well, stay curious, and ask a lot of questions. See ya.